Evening Die Hard, Celtics bomb Cleveland in game one, remained perfect at home in the playoffs at 8-0, and they dropped Cleveland by 25 in game one. Story of the day today was defense, defense on LeBron James. They kept LeBron in check all day long. They started the game with Marcus Morris on him, and they kept him in check all day long by 15, 7, and 9, which is his totals need to be way high. He actually didn't even leave the team in scoring as Kevin Love uh, had 17. He ended up leading the Cavs in scoring. The Celtics shot an amazing 51% um, from the from the field compared to Cleveland's 36%. You shoot 50% in the playoffs, I don't care if you're playing an all-star team with the Rockets and Golden State, you're winning. And the Celtics did a great job, good shot selection, great ball movement, and they did a good job on that um, regard there. He started the game with Morris on LeBron, and he did a pretty good job. Off the bench, Morris had, uh, excuse me, in the starting role today, Marcus Morris had 21 points, 10 rebounds, and um, he did a really good job keeping LeBron in check. They, they swapped with Semi Ojuli throughout, uh, midway through the second quarter, possibly t towards the middle of the third, back and forth uh, with both guys. Ojuli did a great job today as well. He only scored three points, but in the 15 minutes he played off the bench covering LeBron James. They were huge and very impactful to the final score uh, of the game. Uh, Kevin Love led the Cavs with 17 points, and it's the mixed array of scoring that we've talked about. Al Horford, 26-4. Jalen Brown, 23-8-1. Terry Rozier played 34 minutes, only had 8 points, but he had 8 assists. 8-6-8 eight, eight for Rozier. Tatum, 16 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Um, Big Al, who continues to be MVP of this season so far for the team. Now that Kyrie's been down for a while, 24 and 6. And they didn't get much off the bench, but Marcus Smart gave him, and Aaron Baines both gave him 25 minutes off the bench. Smart had 9, 3, and 6, while Baines was had 4, 8, and 2. Look, they're really good at home. Can't deny that fact. They're probably going to win more than they lose at home. The question is, can they win three more games somehow in this series? They play like this, they're going to beat anybody. I don't care if it's the Rockets, Golden State. I don't care if you take Chris Paul and James Harden and put them on the Golden State Warriors. The Celtics will beat them shooting this well at home. So Celtics take a commanding 1-0 lead in the series. Game 2 um, will be on Tuesday at the Garden. Hopefully they can nail down home court and continue to roll. They're 8-0 at home. They win today, game one, 108-83 final as they drop Cleveland and send a bomb through the NBA, taking a 1-0 lead in the Eastern Conference Finals. Have a good night, guys.